Shalom. Barakati Yahawa, Bahashim, Yahawa Shai, Bahashim, Kakadash. All praises and glories definitely do, especially in the times we're living in. Much respect to the apostles and others of Great Millstone and to all the brothers out there doing the work. I say Shalom. All right. Um, I'm going to do a lesson here. Uh, I'll probably title it News and Prophecy, various topics, right? Um, and we're going to do what's going on, uh, what came to uh, a lot of brothers' attention last night. Um, this uh, this cat called uh, Polite, all right, is... Uh, He's under allegations for rape. Now this man has uh, come up against the, the apostles, the others of GMS, him and Sarnetta, you know, who is, uh, is another wicked brother, you know, I believe who pushes that Kemet and stuff. So, uh, and uh, not to even uh, excuse uh, Captain Tazariak, you know, uh, who I believe claims he uh, he took uh, the uh, serpent's potion. All right. So, um, you know, these people are not, they were, their eyes, okay, and minds were not opened by the most high. All right. So these men are lost. All right. And they've continually just, you know, come up against, you know, the brothers in the truth, particularly GMS, all right, and the others. And uh, anyway, you know, I believe it was Polite who started the nonsense that, you know, accusing, uh, you know, GMS, you know, like they go around uh, raping women, which, you know, is the farthest thing from the truth, all right? Basically, what the scriptures say, what the law says, all right? An example of that would be, uh, you know, if a man did that back in that time, you can't do that today in this kingdom. This is Esau's kingdom, and he's got laws, right? But his laws are different than the laws of the Most High. And back then in the ancient world, if, you know, you you took a young woman, all right, um, say at the age of 12 when she's menstruating and uh, you took her, well, you know, there's a way, you know, you would have to give the father like 50 shekels, okay, and then you can't, you know, get rid of that woman, you know, she's she's got to be your wife, you know, regardless of whatever problems you're going to have with her, you know, you can't get rid of her, and that's by the law, okay, but nobody was necessarily, you know, put in jail for rape or anything else. You understand? But these brothers here, you know, again, they have no understanding of the scriptures and of the ancient laws, and that's all the elders were simply bringing out. And these guys took it somewhere else. Why? Because they're emotional. Okay? They're emotional. Anyway, let's play this uh, couple of video clips. I'm going to play this one and then we're going to jump to another one all right before we get into the scriptures all right so let's do that shalom to the elect of the nation of israel once again it's another video coming to you through the spirit and power of yahweh Shai Basham Kakwadash. all praises and glories definitely do especially in these times and uh yeah there's been uh stories circulating on the different social media platforms of this character who goes by the title of Polite. And uh, this is what he calls himself, Polite. And he's been uh, arrested allegedly, allegedly for the act of rape. All right, so I was watching this video here by uh, Elder Kazak of GMS Mississippi, and he did this video entitled Polite allegedly arrested for rape. This is the video here. And um, I was reading the, uh, which is <laughs> pretty ironic because uh, years.
years earlier, when Sarnetta and Polite came down to the camp, our camp at 34th and 7th Avenue in Manhattan, uh, when we tried to explain to them about the law on rape, which is in the scriptures, they uh, turned that knowledge around and slanderously said that we were rapists. So All right, let's go to that video clip. Give me a minute. Just make it short. Sure. They said that you said it was okay to rape twelve-year-old girls. Oh. I don't know if that's true. Okay, that's, 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 that's what I want. That's what I said. I wanted to know. Slander. I didn't put that on you. I didn't put it on you. That's a lie. No, you know what I thought. You can show off this. We'll go live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Miami, uh, GMS. Say it again, brother. All right. Uh, let's go to another video. Give me a minute. Uh, she later awoke while the defending Noah was forcibly 
Exactly. Trying to make her grow up by pushing his fingers in her throat and down her throat. Defending the walk, who is Brother Polite, okay? Then took victim TS to her mother's hotel, uh, who was staying at another hotel in Miami on College Avenue, where Mr. Rocho noticed, who is the mom to the daughter, that the victim TS was severely intoxicated and possibly under the influence of an unknown drug. And victim, and the 14-year-old victim had severe swelling on the victim's mouth, lips, area. Defendant Noah, who is Brother Polite, told his girlfriend, Mr. Rocho, not to call the police because if she did, she would ruin his career. This is exactly what he stated, okay? Of course, we gotta say allegedly, but you know, they got the they got statement. Anyway, um, let me keep going. So, after she, uh, he told her, don't call the police because she would ruin his career, Miss Orocho, the mother to the 14 year old daughter, transported the victim, her daughter, to Mount Sinai Hospital where she disclosed sexual battery. Uh, victim, uh, T.S., the 14-year-old victim, was transported to Roxy Bolton, uh, I guess, rape treatment center that was in Miami where all her clothing was collected and a kit was performed and collected. Said evidence was transported to Miami-Dade County Forensic Lab where it was analyzed on 5 2021 Results from Miami-Dade Forensic Labs were received where it confirmed that the victim, T.S., had a total of six and this is all the spirit because um all right all right um you know give me a minute all right well you people who are i took you to uh three different videos you know um anyway um what is polite sonetta right uh, Tazariak, Captain Tazariak, all right, and uh, he's from uh, ISUPK, you also have another uh, Israelite group, IUIC, and, I mean, people, you, you have individuals that have a platform, that have many followers, and they're all being deceived. All right, and basically they're non-believers, okay? And they're also blaspheming the Most High, His Son, the Scriptures, okay? They're all unbelievers, and they're all committing blasphemy. So again, the Lord has not opened their eyes or their minds to the truth of the Scriptures. So they may know that they're Israelites, but nonetheless... They have not been brought into the council of Yahweh Bachim, Yahweh Chai. They have no truth, no wisdom, no knowledge, no understanding of these scriptures. All right, that the Lord comes in the volume of the book. This book is alive and a breathing entity. Okay? It speaks. So these men like faith. They like faith big time. All right? And you know what? We're going to end this here, and we're going to come right back in part two, and we're going to get into this uh, lesson here. And we're going to start out with that, with uh, the lack of faith that these men have, all right? So we'll be right back in part two. Shalom.